uh, on the Malibu Cliffs talking to you on a sunny um, afternoon and uh, a lot of stuff I want to say to you. Um, I, I want to talk for a moment about where our nation's going and the fact that on the immediate horizon there is so much uh, tremendous challenges facing our nation and our world. And I was thinking of the fact that the World Economic Forum uh, has been meeting in Davos, Switzerland. And these, of course, are the elite in science and industry uh, and uh, the heads of major corporations and groups like that. And uh, they, they have decided, <laughs> I have to, always have to laugh because they, the elite, have decided that they're going to replace capitalism uh, with a new international economic order. Now, we have to remember that it's these, this elite group that destroyed capitalism to begin with. So the people who destroyed our economic system, <laughs> I'm laughing because it's a tragedy, uh, the people who have destroyed our economic system are now the ones coming up with a solution on how to fix it, which is ridiculous. And what we have to understand is that they plan to destroy the current capitalist base economic system Oh, a minimum of a hundred years ago, but actually it goes back as far as Plato's Republic. And they plan for a one world economic system. And I deal with that in my new DVD series, Are You Ready for the Coming One World Government? Are You Ready for the Coming One World Economic System? And Are You Ready for the Coming One World Religion? Now, this global collapse of capitalism uh, that we're seeing around the world is not an accident. Uh, it is a deliberate, strategic, uh, it has an objective of bringing down the global economic system so they can replace it with what they've always wanted to replace it with to begin with, which is a world socialist or a world communist government or a one world government. Now you have to understand that as they maneuver and engineer this entire uh, operation, they stand to become the masters of the universe, the masters of the world. They're not going to lose anything. The middle class is going to be destroyed. Now, some of you may say, Paul, well, that sounds far-fetched for you to say the middle class is going to be destroyed. Well, you know, just read the major uh, publications coming out of the United Kingdom, for example, The Guardian Online, and, and so many more um, economic uh, newspapers and publications that, that are well respected. And the headline of last week's Guardian publication was the fact that the, the middle class, and I'm paraphrasing, are being destroyed in the United Kingdom. That there, that there is no more middle class. And the uh, writer cited such examples as the average UK family cannot afford to, he to even have one night out um, a month for, you know, um, the English equivalent of hamburgers or whatever. They can't even afford to go out once a month and they can't afford to take a, a two or three day little holiday. They can't even afford to take a holiday. And so the author of this publication basically said the middle class in the United Kingdom is dead. And the, the author was correct. Now they're trying to do, and they have, they've almost done it, uh, destroyed the middle class in America. And they have done this through a, a number of measures and that's their game plan. You need to understand that the destruction of the middle class is essential to their game plan <clears throat> because what they want is a one world economic system and a one world uh, government and a one world religious system. If you turn the back of the dollar bill you see the pyramid structure 
and the pyramid structure is an occult structure and the pyramid says below it in Latin Nuvos Order Seclorum which means new order of the ages or new world order and the people that um, are part of the base of the pyramid are the serfs are, or the slaves and that's what we're seeing because now we only have two classes left we have the elite <coughs> and we have the slave class and if you see above the slave class on the pyramid you see the uh, occult symbol of the all-seeing eye of Lucifer so the illumined ones Illuminati the, the occult organization that's driving all of this and then you see that above the all-seeing eye of Lucifer <coughs> excuse me is a tiny pyramid which represents the elite and they fancy themselves as a scientific elite that will rule the masses and that's what they're doing right now uh, under the guise of all this economic maneuvering etc etc and and the thing that I'd like to convey uh, to you and I deal with it comprehensively in my DVD series are you ready for the coming one world government the coming one world economic system and the one world religion is that this has been a game plan for a long time and interestingly enough it parallels the uh, outline that the ancient Hebrew prophets and the Apostles talked about when in their prophecies in the Old and New Testament they talk about a coming one world economic system where they distribute the mark of the beast through a biochip implant or nanotechnology or a microchip implant or uh, the coming one world government which we're seeing now and of course the coming one world religion and this will be a new a new age religion that is definitely on the offensive uh, towards Christianity so that's where that's where we are and um, that should not bring you to a hopeless situation but it is absolutely imperative that you understand the historical economic spiritual dynamics that are being played out before your very eyes and that you don't walk around in the trance state that most people in America and England are walking around in they're they're in it they're in a trance they can't see reality in front of them and that trance is reinforced by by preachers who uh, are false prophets because all they say is wonderful things smile and be happy as the system is crumbling now all of this would cause me to spare if I didn't know that God is in control of everything and what we are seeing is the signs of the times that Christ talked about and it also tells us that we're near the returning of the Lord Jesus Christ to this earth <clears throat> we're literally pressing our noses against the window of the Great Tribulation period which will be the most horrific uh, seven-year period of God's judgment upon the earth in human history now I'm not here to argue with you about whether it's a pre-tribulational rapture or mid-trib or post-trib or we're in the, tri uh, the tribulation now I believe in a pre-tribulational uh, rapture but as my good friend Jack Hayford said you know the first bus that comes I'm out of here so my faith is not in a system of eschatology my faith is in Jesus Christ and so I look forward to the return of Jesus Christ but I'm also mature enough in my faith to understand that Jesus Christ said occupy until I come and we're going to have persecution and trouble and trials and difficulties until the return of Christ no matter what uh, position you take uh, on the rapture we're gonna have trials and difficulties and I want to talk about how we can face those difficulties not escape them as, as it's, the, it's the common uh, denominator in so many Christian churches they don't, they don't even read the book of Revelation by the way uh, we, we face the problems we rely on the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit and we uh, have the mind of Christ 
and God gives us, if we're walking with him, God gives us supernatural wisdom, guidance. God will supernaturally meet your need. He expects you to work. He expects you to plan. But you have the helper, the comforter, the Holy Spirit, the counselor living inside of you. And so until the Lord returns, you can walk victoriously if you're relying supernaturally on the power of the Holy Spirit. But I want to get into one other area, and that is how to engage in what I call high-level spiritual warfare with overwhelming force and on a spiritual dimension, fighting that multi-dimensional war. I'm Paul McGuire.